Good day, everybody. Mike Flores here, local Las Cruces realtor and new home expert. Thank you so much for joining us today on another home tour in beautiful, sunny Las Cruces. This home I'm about to show you is 1,932 square feet. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bathroom with a tan and free car garage. And let me tell you, this home is absolutely loaded and absolutely beautiful. Take a look at the outside of the Spanish colonial dream home. So starting off with the outside, Monarch Homes is known for their front landscaping. They always have that flagstone, beautiful flagstone path, plenty of bushes, large rock arroyo with two big boulders, tree, gravel and weed matting, everything's on a drip line. And this home is a Spanish colonial. You can always tell by the arches and they're very high arches. In fact, that's an eight foot garage door and an eight foot entry door. So this has gotta be about nine feet or close to it. And look at how beautiful that arch is. And they did two of them on the front patio. What I love about this particular floor plan is it's smaller, 1932 square feet, under 2,000 square feet, but it has all the amenities of a much larger home. And I'm gonna display that for you today. It even has a sky view deck in the back, which means it's gonna have a spiral staircase going up to the top of the back patio. And the views from there are absolutely amazing. You're gonna wanna stick around to see that, believe me. Um, nice coach lights, one, two, three, four, with a drop chandelier. You can actually get to these really easy LED lights. Garage door itself is an eight foot garage door with windows. This is an insulated garage door. I always stand next to it to give you an idea of the scale of it. Rounded corners, painted dark soffits with arched tile on the roof, and you got a few corbels over here. Really beautiful design. We do a lot of Mediterranean, Spanish colonial, Tuscans, um, just a lot of different type of styles. In fact, if you take a little pan and look around on all these homes, these are all monarch homes, and you can kind of get an idea of their flavor. They have all kinds of different designs and all very beautiful and unique to their own floor plan. That's the new park, by the way. That's the newest park in Metro Verde. It's almost done, super nice. It's actually two large parcels. Um, it's got all, be a lot of grass, a lot of trees, walking trails. It's got a place for the kiddos on the other side, on this side, a little bit more for the adults, but absolutely gorgeous. And look how deep this is. So this is eight feet. That means that's probably about 10 feet. You have a drop out exterior chandelier, a couple LED lights over this way. You got a plug in inside the entry as well. Eight foot door by 42 inch, really nice wide door with a speakeasy glass and the wrought iron design exterior. Video doorbell and keyless entry. Look at this entry, beautiful. 16 feet tall and these folks brought a special chandelier for us to put in for them. And uh, you know, I, I'll tell you what, I'm really liking it. I mean, very, very modern. It's really classy to you walk in. It just kind of shines, man, it's just beautiful. Great job and congratulations to the folks that are moving into this home. I believe today, I can't wait to give you your keys. That's gonna be awesome. So 16 foot entry, eight foot door, two bedrooms off the entry, plus a bathroom and also a closet. Let's start with a closet. Got a nice coat closet with two shelves. Now, hand troweled walls, rounded corners, arch soffits, uh, four and a quarter inch trim, floor trim all around. This home has no carpet, 24 by 24 inch tiles with small grout lines. Let's look at the very first bedroom. These are all close to 12 by 12. Lots of plugins all the way around. And these are actually deco or decora. Very, very strong. These do come with remote controls to control the speed and dim the lights, and they're actually very, very quiet. In fact, I'll turn one of these on. And my microphone is very, very sensitive, and you can't hear anything. But you can feel the air, which is great. Walk-in closet in the first bedroom. It does have a nice little window as well. Got a shelf and shelf, so short hang, short hang, cubby storage, long hang, cubby storage. Very nice for the first bedroom. 
And then you got, this is your carbon monoxide and smoke detector, and these are all networked into all the rest of them in the house, so if one goes off, they all go off. And let me tell you, they're very, very, very loud. <laughs> First bathroom, which three centimeter thick granite, under my rectangular sinks, delta faucets. You got the satin nickel hardware and faucets matching with everything else in this home is all satin nickel. Pop-out mirrors with a little, I love these knobs. I mean, it's really cool to, you know, I like frames. Frames are really pretty, but to see a difference where it's real clean and it kind of pops out, giving you that three-dimensional look, I really like that. Pecan colored cabinets, all soft clothes, dovetail construction. It's very nice. Herringbone pattern, wood look tile all the way to the 10 foot ceilings. You got an operable window. Got a couple of wet nichos over here with the uh, schlutering and this is gonna match all of the, the hardware in the home so it's also satin nickel. Nice tub. Now the windows in this home are Pella and when you get an, a Metro Central 2 product, you're getting Pella windows which are very, very high end windows, very energy efficient. Um, they're very hard to beat in fact, but there's other windows that they compete with, Anderson, Marvin, um, that's pretty much like the high end of all the windows, super good windows. Another walk-in closet, this one goes in this way. So you have long hang cubby storage and then a lot of short hang here. And again, no carpet, it goes from the bedroom also into the closets. Plug-ins all the way around, you got your cable hookup over here, you got your ethernet plug-in as well. And another thing about Monarch I love is that they put the doorstop in the hinge so it does have a counterweight to it that makes it want to go back to its closing position. So you don't have to have those things, you know, coming out of your wall that, you know, do dogs love to eat and kids like to play with. <laughs> Going back into the pan, into the uh, the foyer, there's your speakeasy glass. Very classy way to see who's knocking at your door. And you don't even have to use that. It comes with a video doorbell, but it is a really cool way. I mean, it's like you rang, you know? Super nice. And that door does come with a lifetime warranty along with the all the windows in the home, the faucets, even the kitchen sink, all lifetime warranty stuff. So very good product. This is a two by six build as well. Monarch doesn't do two by four, so it's always two by six. And this is something that's really cool. So this is the drop zone area. And they have this really pretty wood that they painted the same color as the walls. You got hooks here to put your coats up, cubbies and storage. Got a place to sit down, kick off your shoes. And then I believe this is a linen closet. Yes. Very nice linen closet. You know, for guests, extra linens, extra towels, extra blankets, pillows. Um, if you're at my house, it's board games. <laughs> Half bathroom here, kind of the same flavor. Three centimeter thick granite, undermount rectangular sinks, delta faucets, drop light, three dimensional mirror, all the hardware, pecan cabinets, and these are a shaker with bevel. And uh, just a great little half bath. They even put a little hook here, and there's also a place here to put like towels and stuff for washcloths and all that good stuff. It's fabulous. Let's look at this garage. So if you don't know what a tandem garage is, this is what it looks like. And what it means is from the front, it looks like a two car garage. But when you go inside the garage, there's another part that pushes into the home and allows you to park yet another car, which I really like. I mean, you got your soft water loop, you got your water shutoff valve down here, you got your water heater. Up here, you have a little pump. That mechanism right there allows your home to have instant hot water throughout the home, so you're not waiting for you know 10 minutes to get water. That's kind of an exaggeration, but it's literally three seconds to get water anywhere in the home which is fabulous you got a window here uh, this client wanted us to put a door for them so we did very nice now when you're doing an exterior door too, always think about where the hinges go if you have the door swing outwards the hinges will actually be exposed to the outside if you have the door swing in this side this way the hinges will be inside so that's a really good thing because if you have them exposed to the outside you got rusting and also you know you can kind of get access and we're in a very safe neighborhood but if someone really wanted to they really they could just pop those out and open the door right up so just something to think about epoxy flooring with heavy flakes over here you got your drip line, your drip system control, which is a Hunter product. This can control the front and the back, several different plants. You don't have to add a secondary one. And then eight foot garage door with windows, insulated door. 
Remember to always check to see if it's got panels on it. You can always tell. And then your Chamberlain MyQ garage door opener that's belt driven. It's a very quiet product. It does have the technology to open it with your iPad, open it with your phone and all that fun stuff. So really cool to see those. All the LED lights. And this home is 100% LED. There's no incandescent or fluorescent lighting in the entire home. Now, I'm about to show you one of the coolest parts of this home. So as I'm coming out, remember you come in this way, you have really beautiful foyer, very good presentation. Uh, you got the high ceilings, you got the arched soffits, you have this other area over here, smart thermostat, and then right when you walk in, you have an explosion of eye candy. You have a beautiful gourmet kitchen with pecan cabinets, double stacked upper kitchen cabinetry. You got your, of course, lower cabinets, all the hardware. It has glass and lay at the top with lights in it. You have undermount lights underneath the cabinetry, all the matching hardware, built-in appliances. These folks wanted two ovens and we did a design for them where we have a microwave and an oven. And then over here you have your gas fire burner cooktop with an oven built into below it. And then you have your extractor vent fan, all stainless steel, herringbone pattern backsplash all the way to the 10 foot ceilings. And I mean, the design is just incredible. I'm so excited for these folks. Um, it does have a trash can pull out with recycle. You got a Blanco sink with no divider on this one. This is gonna be a touch faucet. That's actually hardwired in, it doesn't have a battery. Garbage disposal switch. Metal inside. Really nice LG appliance package. Three centimeter thick granite to match all the bathrooms as well. You got your pendant lights. Lots of drawer stacks and of course, don't forget the Lazy Susan. That's important. Very beautiful and check this out guys. This is really cool to see. So if you come this way, take a look at the pull out drawers. Very cool way to keep everything like very organized. They fully extend out. You don't see that very often in new homes. Typically, you know, that's up to a homeowner to put those in, but Monarch, you know, in most of their products, as long as the kitchen doesn't have 50 kitchen cabinets, um, they will put those in some of the cabinetry to, you know, help you be a little more organized. And if you notice two glass doors and you have a laundry glass door and you have a pantry glass door, very classy way to, you know, tell you what's what. Really large walk-in pantry with shelving on both sides. Really nice hardware too. I, I, you know, one thing about Monarch is their hardware is very, it's very solid. Their faucets are very solid as well. Look at this. Laundry room with upper cabinets, lower cabinets, lower basin, undermount lighting, all the hardware on all the cabinetry, and then you got a sink. And that is the only actual option in this home, in, in this laundry room, is the sink itself. We, um, they asked us to put a drop in. You know, usually we don't do this, but if someone wants a drop in, we can, we can do it. It's ready for an electrical dryer. You got over here your hot and cold for your washer and a plug-in, and of course your, your vent that goes up and out. And then over here, you do have a place to put all your low voltage. So you can see it's pre-wired and ready to go. Very nice. And then from here, you have 10 foot ceilings, all these lighting, and then it goes to a 12 foot tray. And again, they brought us another beautiful chandelier to work with. Um, 12 foot tray with beams all the way across the dining room and living room, helicopter fan, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight LED lights, one, two, three, four, five windows, plus a large eight foot by 12 foot glass door. That's a Marvin door. On the inside, it's wood clad, and the outside is actually fiberglass, and it does have the screens as well. We're gonna go outside and look at the outside. I mean, you're gonna wanna see the deck. The decking is really cool. It's called the Skyview deck option. Very awesome to see. The homes do come with fans in every bedroom, helicopter fan in the gray room, and then of course, all the blinds on the main windows, it comes that way. Now, they also wanted a fireplace. We did the stacked rock all the way to the ceilings, all the way to 12 feet. You got your electrical fireplace. You got the granite bonco with the undermount lighting. Very easy to operate, and it does come with a remote control to be able to change the colors and adjust the heat. And of course, your flat screen pre-wire. 
is one of my favorite floor plans that Monarch does, the 1932, and uh, it, is a, it is a stellar floor plan. Nicho in here, we ledge it with the granite to match all the countertops in the bathrooms and kitchen. Because we did arch soffits in this one, we also arched the, uh, the Nichos themselves. And I purposely left the blinds closed here so you can kind of get an idea of how pretty this tray lighting is. So the hidden shelf, you have all this darker color paint and then we hid a rope light inside of it and then painted the, uh, the tray of it the same color as the wall. So it really gives you a cool feel when you walk in. Like it just transitions. And at nighttime, when there's no other light fighting it, it this whole tray actually does glow really well. Um, you got a really not the same fan as you saw in the other bedrooms. You can't, again, you can't hear it. There's no clicking noise. Um, it's self-balancing, comes with remote control. You can adjust the, the lighting and also the speeds. Master bathroom. So you have your own, of course, reading room with a door, and then here you have a glass shower, and it's actually a really nice size as well. Herringbone pattern, wood look tile to the 10 foot ceilings, wet nicho and bench. It does have, we include these in all of our showers. It's kind of like a rain shower head combo. Rain shower head, adjustable with a handheld soap dish. Of course, we put a bench and we do the schlutering on the bench, that way it's not too sharp and all the glass around with a frameless glass door just tops it off 67 inch freestanding tub you got your towel racks you got a frosted window here with and we also do put the the blinds on that because you can adjust the lighting and then drop lights his and hers nice vanity three centimeter thick granite matching cabinetry three pop-out mirrors just a beautiful beautiful design and then this closet is amazing a huge closet linen closet here actually one, two, three, four, five shelves. And then a very large master closet. I would say at least 12 foot by six maybe. Yeah, this is six foot wide. I would say at least 12 to 15 foot long. Cubby, short hang, cubbies, storage, long hang. I mean, very nice. And to my almost, I'm so excited because I haven't shown a Skyview deck in a very, very long time. Um, we are doing another one on the 2167 that I'll be putting up a video on. But this is always a treat. So we extended the patio on this one, but then we also extended the concrete as a landing area for the actual spiral staircase. Now, this home doesn't have any backyard neighbors. When they develop that, you'll be about 80 feet from rock wall to rock wall, maybe a little bit more than that. But because of that buffer, you will retain a lot of view, especially from in the backyard itself. Rock walls all the way across. Now, these folks do want to do their own landscaping in the back, so we ran the drip line for them. That way they don't have to do any, you know, drip lining or any plumbing, makes it easy. And then look above. I know it's kind of hard to see because of the sun, but this wrought iron work is really gorgeous and we're about to go up there and take a look to see what you can actually see on top of this. Now, as you're going up, you can feel how solid this is. Very nice wrought iron work with a really nice rail to hold on to as you're coming up. <laughs> Synthetic wood decking across this entire patio. Unobstructed views of the entire East Mesa. Now, I'll tell you this, I would be excited to come up here during the 4th of July and just seeing everybody's firecrackers. Who needs to go buy fireworks, you know? This is fabulous. I like the wrought iron all the way across. You know, talk about being able to just have access to just looking at how beautiful Las Cruces really is. And you can see the actual bulk of Las Cruces, but you can see a vast majority of the, of the East Mesa and the mountain range. And you can see every mountain range here. There's the Donianas. There's Mount Baldy. Over there, that's the Robledos. And I can't see Picacho Peak. May, I think I can see it. It's actually right over there. It's just kind of right over that cream house. And then over here, of course, you have the A Mountain, and then you have the entire Oregon mountain range. We're only about six miles away from the actual organs themselves. A lot of hiking opportunities up there. White Sands is right on the other side, so a good, a really cool day to go out and spend time in White Sands. Some I used to do when I was a kid. Pretty awesome. A 
Let's go back in that beautiful kitchen. So folks, um, I wanna thank each and every one of you for all the wonderful comments, all the likes and the shares. I hope you enjoyed this tour. And remember, if it, for anything in Las Cruces regarding real estate, resell, new homes, builders, just general information about real estate or about Las Cruces, give me a call. I always look forward to hearing from you. Have a wonderful day.